Welcome to r slash Ask Gay Men of Beretta, to where my little brother is gay and my parents aren't taking it well. So, r slash, uh, screw my life guys, my little bro is gay, not out uh, to me, but I found out and our parents aren't handling it well. What should I do? I noticed a shift uh, in my brother's personality at the start of this year and I didn't think much of it. Then our parents asked me to start spending extra time with him, taking him on hikes and to play basketball, etc. with me. No big deal, we're not super close, but we do hang out occasionally. And then they start asking me to uh, comment on the girls in front of him, which seemed weird at first, so I didn't do it. I noticed that he didn't have his phone one day, so I asked him if he got it, and he told me he's being punished and not allowed to use it unless one of them uh, watches him. I asked if he got caught looking at porn on it or something, but he really just uh, wanted me to drop it, so I did. Later, when I asked our parents about it, they told me his best friend and him had gotten caught with uh, pills, which is why he isn't allowed to see him anymore. Pills? What pills could they be caught with? Uh, we gotta keep going. I had already started feeling weird about how under lock and key my little brother seemed to be, and honestly didn't know if I should just believe them or not. I, like I had offered him weed before and he said no, so I just seemed it just seemed like something he wouldn't do. So I headed to the Starbucks that his best friend works at to see what he had to say and see if I needed to kick his ass over it. And he told me a very different story. He told me my brother was his boyfriend and that our parents caught them kissing and flipped out. Tossed him out and had made sure that they couldn't see each other or even talk to each other. And that he's been worried and trying anything or any way he could to try to contact my brother, but he hadn't heard anything back. He showed me some of the messages and pics uh, that confirmed that they were a couple, and I thanked him for telling me and told him I'll do I'll see what I can do to help him on my own. So now here I am, trying to figure out the best course of action on how to help out my brother. I don't want to do any more damage to him than what they've already done, so I'm nervous if I should say something when he hasn't come out to me. I also have uh, thought about letting him use my phone to contact his boyfriend, or getting my brother and then getting his boyfriend, or talking to him to him, uh, but I don't want uh, to get into him into worse trouble or to be cut off from our parents if they were to find out. What is the best way to handle this? And then a couple of days later, Opie posts an update. Wow, I never expected to get this much attention or advice. Thank you, seriously, to everyone. I read everything and even if I didn't, re even if I didn't reply. Uh, first to those that asked and didn't see my already answer. He's 16 and I'm 25. I've lived fully on my own for the last little while. To those of you suggested talking to my parents, trust me, I wanted and really wished to, to tell them off right now, but that's not the in the best interest of uh, my little brother. I'm currently the only person they let to go out uh, alone with him, so if I go off and tell them that I know, they will most likely cut me out completely isolating him, which is not a good idea given how depressed he's been. The other day I ran to Starbucks twice to, looking to catch his boyfriend. Fortunately the second time he was there, so I was able to have him write a note for my brother. I figured it'd be the best to have something to lead into the conversation, plus I wanted him to write his number down in case my brother doesn't know it off the top of his head and to text him from my phone. I picked up my brother like normal and fought the urge to go off on my mom. I've never had the best relationship with my parents, but I can honestly say I hate them now. The game plan was supposed to be going for a hike, but I said let's go get some food instead because I didn't want to hike. Plus I figured he might get emotional and I honestly didn't want him near cliffs or hiking emotionally exhausted. I told him I actually had saw his friend and he gave me a letter to give him and that was in the glove box with my phone so he could text him if he wanted. I thought he was going to rip the door off the glove box when he opened it. He read the letter and started crying so bad that I pulled over. I, he didn't even understand uh, why it would help him. Apparently our ducking awful parents had convinced him that I would beat the um, crap out of him if I knew. Again, I hate them. He cried more and more than I've ever seen another guy cry. I thought uh, he did call or text his boyfriend way away, but he spent at least an hour sobbing. I just kept reassuring him that nothing is wrong with him, that he's not broken or damaged or something that can or needed to be fixed. I felt like a broken record, but I think it helped, or at least I hope so. After he calmed down, I was able to talk to him uh, the rest of the drive back and dinner heck the most of the night. I told our parents he'd crash at my place because he got late and we grabbed uh, food and got uh, talking to two girls which immediately led to a no fight or question situation. Nice! Manipulate the parents' expectation. Nice! They haven't physically hurt him, thank god, uh, because if they did I'd probably be in jail right now. 
hell before it's all said and done, I may very well end up in it because I'm really frustrated with how they've been treating him. When I found out that they had been apparently trashing his room, searching for anything gay, anything rainbow, or anything not masculine enough, and destroyed anything they found, including a couple uh, printed pics he had with his boyfriend, they deleted all the pictures off his phone and blocked his boyfriend on it, which was kind of pointless because apparently it's not just him using it in front of them, but one of them has to literally sit next to him if he uses his phone or computer. They search his room once a week, still in case he finds any way to sneak something in. It's like a prison style toss to his room. Holy cow. Just as a side, this is literally like living in a prison. Like hardcore. The rest of the time, uh, they either don't talk to him, berate him, yell at him, or talk to him about how he needs to be cured or fixed. He cried a lot, uh, and though through our talking about all this kind of stuff, uh, including me asking the tough question that he didn't want to answer. I asked him about how depressed he's been. Self-harm, suicide... The works, uh, and Duck, I'll admit it, I cry too. He's been self-harming himself uh, through and thought about suicide, including on our hikes, making me realize I'm never taking that kid anywhere up high again. I made him promise me that he won't self-harm ever again, and that if he thinks about doing it, lie however he has to to call me. If anything happens to him because of my parents, I will kill them. We talked about our options, what could be done. And I agreed to help him meet with his boyfriend whenever possible and to get him out of the house as often as possible. Which he did talk to him in between us talking, which made him cry more but smile too. I promised him I'll do anything I can to get him out of that house permanently. Emancipation, fights for custody, whatever I have to do. He hugged me more that day and night than I think I've ever been hugged by anybody else in my life. Embarrassing to admit, but he even slept in my bed. He just didn't want to be alone. He was able to see his boyfriend the next day before I had to bring him back home, which ducking killed me inside. I'm supposed to go and help him with a project later today. So we discussed that, and I told him I have a few ideas that if I can pull one off, I might be able to give him a spot to hide his phone, because I really want him to have a one for an emergency. If I can make a spot, I'll get a phone for him on my plan to keep that stash to contact me and his boyfriend. I also called an attorney. Soon as he can see me is Friday, but hopefully he can help me get working on getting him out of my parents' house. In the meantime, I already have another overnight to cover with camping. I was actually going to go camping with my best friend. Just now my brother and his boyfriend will be joining us. Thank you all again and wish me luck on getting him out as fast as possible. And that uh, was it for a little while, but then we got ourselves another update. It has been a hectic week, but worth it. My brother is now living with me, and uh, it's not a done deal by any means, uh, uh, but we have a court date in about a month, uh, and at least until then he can live with me. I have an attorney who's been fantastic and has been fast with helping me getting things done. He is trying to get uh, the court date moved up and is working very hard on that. He said we have a few options to pursue, and it's very positive that no matter what outcome is made, he'll be allowed to stay with me. Whether that'll be emancipation or becoming his legal guardian until 18 remains a question mark. Most likely, I'll be becoming his guardian. No matter what, though, he has my support emotionally and financially. My brother is feeling great, uh, but I am still going to make sure that he starts seeing a therapist. Plus, it'll help with uh, the legal stuff he's in. I'm relieved beyond relieved. It was killing a part of me knowing that he was in such a situation. We were able to get a temporary no-contact order against our parents so we don't have to deal with them till the court date. And hopefully, if everything plays out uh, like it should, uh, um, never again. I'd say someday if they ever came around to support him, maybe. But they weren't great parents before that. Oh. And honestly, if it had not been for him, I would have cut contacts with them and moved out at 18. Thank you all again for all your help and encouraging words. I read everything you folks had said. Yo. OP, you are a boss. You went so far out of your way to help your brother. You deserve all the happiness in the world. And I'm so glad your brother has a brother as amazing as you. Hats off to you, OP. You are an amazing person. And thank you so much for being there for your brother when nobody else was. Wait, so your birthday occurs during AC? Yeah, it's the first day. Oh, nice. Gotta make sure to wish you a happy birthday. Uh -huh. How are you meant to get over to that? Wait, what? I'm trying to think how you get the hole in this one. Oh, so you you see how there's like that um area that's like a loop de loop right there that you just got into? You have to line up with that flag and then you shoot towards the flag and you can get it. It'll jump you towards it. Wait, what? Uh, that works technically, Johnny. <laughs>